last time on Lawful Stupid. You have arrived at the menagerie. Welcome back! You've done it again! Oh, my favorite precious children! You always look so sad when you come to me. Brian will give up his life for that cup. I hope it's worth it. We're gonna go fuck up the alliance at their prison. And we're gonna go get that chick. And we're gonna go free everybody. Proprietor, can you get us within a week's sale of Tangia? Mm, it's, yes, it can be done. All right, well, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna head out and meet, meet Adabur. And he may looks up at you and he smiles. And he begins to shift back into his true form of Jasper. Someone's been telling secrets. Okay, but what would you have me do, Jasper? If you're in the same situation, the things are falling apart. Rules say I kill you dead where you stand, but you don't care for rules, do you? You're getting a little bit close, these folks you've been traveling with, particularly Garrett. You've almost told him things. You've towed the line. Are you with us? Of course I'm with you. Your loyalty is going to be tested soon, Sky Song. I would like to have a private conversation with the proprietor. I was hoping to somehow seek out Lusitania and ask for a favor because I'm a bit useless right now and I'm going to get these people killed. But if she's not around... There is an item that my sister left behind would give you power. Except it wouldn't be borrowed from anybody else. It would be yours. There's a uh, ship setting sail tomorrow. I know the captain quite well. I think he can get you head in the right direction. I'll make myself useful. I think you're making the right decision. I would just like to stop making the wrong ones. The morning finds you. Hooray. Uh, one thing that you'll note uh, as you guys are, are milling about the ship is a absence. Absence of, of Captain Peregrine Turn. And uh, I think it's Oslo who comes looking for her first. Probably. As her, as her emotional support, Kobold. Um, and, and you find... Uh, in her quarters, uh, the captain's hat, and inside the captain's hat are a number of things. Uh, the first one is a hastily scrawn, scrawled note, uh, that says, like, hey, be back later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, burp. I'm doing Ray a disservice by not actually reading what the note says. She so sent like, it at some point, I thought. It yeah, says, that's it's, essentially what it is. Like, hey, I'll be back later. P.S probably should hire a crew and there's a hundred gold pieces uh in there as well um and as well as the the loan from uh sir david jones okay so i think what everyone else sees is oslo comes out of perry's captain's quarters now wearing the hat um Mm. with the note in one hand and the hundred gold pieces in the other and walks up to whoever's closest and says i'm the captain now Uh, I'm, i'm sorry did you eat the captain? <laughs> no! But Perry left. And she left a note. Mm-hmm. And I'm her captain now. Let me see that note. Take the note. Okay. <laughs> also, I don't see anywhere on here where it says that you are the captain. Oh, I got the hat. You know what? Fold the note. You're right. The hat. Captain, what do we do from here? We're gonna fuck up the alliance. Yes, but did anyone see oh. where, 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 where Captain Perry went? No, she just said she'd be back. Uh, she's she's dead to us. Move on. <laughs> uh, she did say hire a crew. Okay. Which is not a bad idea, considering it's just us three and Barney and some ghosts. Then I hold up the locker loan. Hmm. I can't help but to remind um, you that only Barney can operate that now. That Perry is gone. Oh yeah, exactly. So if he's operating that, and I'm up doing Captain's stuff, and watching out, and doing Quartermaster stuff, and then you guys do whatever it is you guys do on the ship, I don't really know, then who's gonna like do the other stuff? Like moving shit. Well, first, you know what they say, if you're if you're doing it right, no one will know you've done anything at all. So that covers my part. Hmm. I agreed with that. 100%. Seems legit. All right. But yeah, we should hire a crew for sure, Captain. I, I trust in your judgment. Don't come back with a and- bunch of other kabolds, though. Oh, my God. No, no. I hadn't even thought about that. 
there aren't enough. There, there's not enough time for you to find do, enough kabobs. Do you know where they are? But not here. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ahoy there! Oh, excuse me, ahoy! And there's there's a small piratey man, uh, and he's calling at you from from the dock. Oh, look, Captain! One of those pirate recruiters. I'm sure he can hook us up. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> my name be Zip. ZipRecruiter.com. Oh my fucking god! Uh, <laughs> go on. And I I would just like to. Uh, <laughs> no, I have a message for you here from. Uh, or the proprietor. He'd like you to meet him in his his office. Okay. Oh, you heard him. Let's go meet him. Let's go meet him. All right. <laughs> oh, That's right. the good place, isn't he? He's a dragon, so we gotta say yes. We gotta well, do yes. Yes. He's a, he's a drag. That's right. I tell you that. He's a dragon. So we gotta, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, also, uh, that's an Oslo, The word it? dragon comes out of her mouth in her brain short circuits. What is that, uh, like, sure. the, the term for when you have, like, words of wisdom? Um, there's an actual <laughs> term for it. Um, the words are, like, kind of vague, you know? It's that's Like an the, adage? Or? Maybe. I don't know. But that's, an, that's what Oslo is doing right there, where she just kind of, like, says a bunch of words together. And it's like, it's meaningful. What is that? I'll yeah. think of that term. It means something. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I agree. Search search for that word. Uh, so you guys going to go see the proprietor? Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, welcome. I'm so glad to see you all again. Hi. Look, I got the captain hat now. Very good. It looks very good on you. <laughs> As it like covers her entire head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I need some assistance. Okay. I got I got a um, a disturbing message uh, from from one of the uh, more neutral uh, locations here within the Sapphire Seas uh, of some folks that need some help. Uh, okay. Do we get paid for it? Uh, you get paid in 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 many ways. And like the the journey is like the best part of the thing or some shit. I don't know. Okay, whatever. The, the satisfaction of a job well done, the smiling faces of those that you help, the friends we made uh, along those... the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she means gold. She's she's interested. If if I'm putting I words g- in your mouth, I <sighs> gold. I give you a lot of gold. She likes gold a lot. Let's just be clear. Are you or are you not currently extorting me? <laughs> yes. Uh, Captain, he asked us a lot. I think you're supposed to extort him. I was going to say yes, because he's asked this from us like three times now. And usually when we say yes, it means we get gone. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm being extorted. I Okay. Um, what What's a fair price, I guess, for a day trip, a day's labor? Well, we gotta at least be able to get there. Is it just a day? Is it that close? Yeah, well, so there are teleportation circles uh, that exist throughout the the realm. Most of them are line controlled, but there's a few that I I can still operate. And I was just gonna bibbity bop you over there. Oh, so we don't even have to use a ship? No, 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 no expenses on the ship. Let's do it. That sounds great. What if? You owe us a favor. No, absolutely. Oh, okay. okay. The fa- a favor for me, you could not put a gold price on, to be honest. I mean, he is, he is a big dragon. What about platinum? I'm a big dragon. What, sorry, what? What about platinum? Could we put a platinum price on it? No, uh, you'd have to have a lot of platinum. Oh, my don't. I'm broke. Four hundred a pace. A pace. A pace. A pace. I'll I'll <laughs> tell you what. I'll give you three hundred and thirty three point three gold repeating a piece. How long does it repeat for? <laughs> it, it repeats for infinity, actually. So we just but come back uh, and get that of a gold piece every Yes. <laughs> come back and collect forever. <laughs> no, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll round it up for you because I like you, and I'll give you a thousand gold pieces. Peace. 
Nope, just total. Or 333.3 repeating a pace. Well, those Perry is, is on vacation, but she's still part of the crew. So we have to no, account for her. She's not doing this job. She, w- she would like to do the job. She's still she's... A, bit a part of us. No, she's a she's on a different ship. She's a crew member now. You guys thought she would have told you. Oh, she's like gone, gone. Is is she coming back? She's gonna go be a pirate, I think. Is she coming back? Uh, probably. She said not to leave for the mainland without her, but strange. Oh. Okay. It's thought okay. I was like How's going look? out to going out to get milk or something, but okay. <laughs> no, she'll probably be gone for. A why? I, I'm sure she'll be back, Oslo. Pat Snoot. <laughs> Snoot that's like barely visible under the captain hat over her face. Pat's hat instead, then. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's fine. Okay. I don't it's, know. A thousand gold piece that sounds good to me, so. It will suffice. A thousand gold total. Yes. We accept. We accept. It's a thousand gold we didn't have before. Okay, Oslo, you can't say that. Like. Because he could, we didn't have one gold before. Yeah. He gives us one gold. Do you see? No, let's. Uh, we'll work yeah. on that, Captain. Good start. Okay, so if you guys will, um, and he opens up like, what had it always appeared to you as like a large closet door, like a double door. He opens it up, and there's a a large uh, engraving on the floor of these these various magical runes and sigils. Because if you'll just step on here, are we going to Narnia? What's Narnia? I don't know where that is. I don't know, it's some story I heard a long time ago. Okay. I'm in. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a really quick question. And you don't have to answer it now, but maybe like, um, think on it. And when we could. Why aren't we teleporting more often? Uh, because, like, like I. I just, I just did say that most of the teleportation circles in the realm are under the control of the Alliance. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are very few that we can actually utilize. Oh, I see. Uh, and when we do, it'll be during like patron-related <laughs> missions, <laughs> yes. uh, specifically to circumvent uh, travel time, not nautical travel. That's fair. What's I, a patron? And we're, and, we're, and, we're, and we're calling them. Day trips. Okay, Ooh, that's good. I like, I like it. it. I I knew a guy who used a, a loot, so it's just different. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a stupid, shitty idea, and whoever came up with it's bad. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> instead, <laughs> you're a dragon. instead we'll be using actual circles everywhere. Actual <laughs> teleportation <laughs> circles from the book, the player's handbook. It's an actual fifth level spell that you can have. We'll be doing that. Ooh. I for pause for a second because I forgot Dwayne was the DM last time and I thought Shane was calling himself an idiot for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized Dwayne was the DM last time. <laughs> How quickly Devin forgets the fucking two years that we played. It, it, well, it he's flies still by my dude. the game, so that's a start. It makes sense now. <laughs> and I'm almost a barbarian again, so there we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I <laughs> step into the circle. Yeah. Okay, you have to now. This is important because you'll have to you'll have to say this again to get back. So remember the command word. Oh, okay. I'm good at Pecan these. Pecan bit. Pecan. Oh, that's the same and, one. And, and as soon as you say, and as soon as you say it, <laughs> this is redemption for Shane. <laughs> <laughs> the teleportation <laughs> circle activates, <laughs> and you're going bopped away. Oh my uh, god. You you find yourself. Um, standing pretty much in the open uh, as you look around and you survey uh, your surroundings of kind of uh, dingy, deadish grass and you see hills and and, and, and valleys that kind of enco- en- encapsulate the surrounding area of the island that you find yourself on. Um, the only distinctive feature you see in the distance is like a comically large skull. Well, That's not floating. We didn't ask anything about. Oh, I <laughs> <some teleport. laughs> you all right, bud? You okay? Yeah, we've done this a few times, and it's worse every time. It's a lazy form oh. of magic. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like it comes someone far, far away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's done this several times prior to this bit, but that's fine. 
Don't, can't you make a point of your potions or something to, to help with that? Yeah, my fucking... <laughs> my fucking... Anti-carsick potion. <laughs> it's deed. You can make a potion <laughs> for anything. My, my fucking Dramamine potion. You're making fun of the fact that I said make a potion that doesn't make you sick in a game full of fantasy that just transported I just... Thousands I just think it's fun. Work. I'm not making fun of you. I just think it's fun. What did fun. you it's spend your fun. life work on? Well, I made a potion that doesn't make you queasy anymore. Oh, it's a medicine. No, it's a potion. Medicine? It, it's medicine. Fine. It's medicine. The tagline oh. is, more wizards take teleport now. <laughs> anti-dramamine spell. Anti- or not anti-dramamine. Anti-dramamine? <laughs> yeah, okay. it's like dark wizards take anti-dramamine so they cast it on you and then cast teleport on you. Oh, shit. Not Uh-oh. again. So, we didn't actually ask what this place is called, or anything about it, Also a mistake. or where we are. Mistake. Oh, he oh, might have just on. like he might have just been trying to get rid of us. Oh, yeah, give me and, like, a second. Now we're stuck. <laughs> to you a thousand feet in the air. <laughs> 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 well, Captain, it's your first uh, foray into leadership. What's next? To the skull. See anything around here? Concerning, but I agree. Let's go. You, you head towards the skull. Um, as as you approach, the first thing you know um, is it is a strong aroma, and it smells like it smells like home. Mm. For it smells like who? booze. It smells like booze. Okay. It smells like a ton of booze, <laughs> stale ale, and. And spilled liqueurs uh, is what it smells but like. I thought the captain was on a boat of pirates. <laughs> Why does it smell like fairy? <laughs> <laughs> the salt water now guys it's everywhere. She must be nearby. Just keep making fun of her while she's not here. Can't we find her. Love it. <laughs> uh, this the second thing you'll know as you get closer is one. The skull is very very large. It is the size of a large building. Because that's what it is. It's a large building. And uh, you'll, you know that outside, very close in proximity to the skull itself, um, there's just like some bodies, like, just laying on the ground. It wasn't me. I move over to investigate the bodies. Uh, make me a medicine check. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Fine. I just... Uh, six. Uh, they're alive. They're breathing. Ew. What do they look like? Like, are they human? Yeah. Or, uh, or are they dancer? Uh, some or of them are human. Some of them are dwarven. Some of them, uh, there, there's a fine smattering of, of dragon blades, even three kobolds. But they're all alive. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? So we're they're all alive. Just, so you Wait, said how many? They're still alive, but they're barely breathing. <laughs> yes. So that's a lot of bodies. That's like at least 10 bodies. Yeah, there's a bunch out, and that's just outside. Ooh, Kabold! Uh, Tiny Dragon, look! Oh, yeah, Oslo goes straight to them. It's like, hey! Hey! And just like they, shaking it. Hey! I don't, they, are, they are unresponsive. They are not well. I don't think they're doing well, Oslo. I haven't seen a Kabold in years. Mm, hey, what, what, DM. Can I yeah. ritually cast detect magic? Yeah, it takes ten minutes. <laughs> While well, also well, running I mean, around, just you hey! guys do what you want to do. <laughs> I'm going to see if there's any magic afoot. Garrett sits down, cross cr- crisscross applesauce, and pulls out his book. <laughs> and eleven minutes later, he can detect magic. I feel it, dude. Uh, while he's doing that, also is going to go from starting with the kobolds, going body to body. Did you say dragonborn too? There's some dragonborn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, going body to body. Start with the kobolds, and then the dragonborn, and then the other humanoid things. Uh, like, shaking him. Hey! Hey! Like, kind of, like, halfway slapping him upside the head. Hey! Also, also ca- cast grating shriek. It is not effective. <laughs> it's the same noise every time. Hey! Uh, um, is there anything else outside of this building? Uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there are... Uh, wooden rocking chairs, and there are barrels, and on top of the barrels, there's like cloth that have these 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 black and white like checkered uh, spaces, and these these large uh, uh, disc like objects, uh, one in black, one in red. Is this Cracker Barrel? 
<laughs> Where everyone is dead. <laughs> Where everyone is still breathing. This is a normal state here. This is they they gorge themselves and then sleep. They'll be awake in no time. Oslo hops up onto one of the rocking chairs, gets loses balance a little bit, and then hops up to one of the barrels, picks up I assume it's a checker piece, is what it this is. It is a checker piece, that is uh, true. Bites it. Was it like wooden? Something like that? Yeah, it's wooden. Gathers up a few of them into her bag. I mean, you ruined the game for somebody else later, but that's cool. They're all asleep! Who yeah. knows what's, what's whose turn it was anyway? I'm just saying, like, no, I'm just saying some oh, oh, yeah, I can't, I can't. I can't wait to play checkers, and then they'll go to play, and they'll be like, oh, we don't have enough pieces. That take all the pieces. And the board. Oh, we, we, we don't have the any board. pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my game now. <laughs> now it's just a barrel. <laughs> there was nothing here. Good job, Oslo. You've done it. I've done it. You've so- you've solved my puzzle. Thanks, thanks so much, everybody, for listening, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end. That's the end of campaign two. Well, oh, that's how it I beat the game. Garrett, is there magic? No, I do, I'm finishing the spell. Yeah, you finish the spell, and uh, your eyes open wide to the possibilities of magical influence. And in fact. Jeez, you do in fact, um, you do in fact uh, detect magic all throughout this building, right? Well, what about and on the and on the individuals? Yeah, so on the individuals, I would know that that is a charming magic. Huh? You would know the school of magic that it comes yeah. from, which is necromancy. Oh, that's not great. Um, hmm. Well, I hate to break it to you that uh, these uh, champs here are covered in necromatic energy. Necromantic? No, necromatic. It's different. Ah. So are they dead or are they not? They are. They were dead and now they're. Well, back no, they're back alive. Again. Um, someone has put. They're them- zombies. Yes. And uh, it's at this moment our distinguished patron, Tex. You have heard a commotion outside as these, as these, these strangers in a strange land have, uh, have begun investigating as well as bickering amongst themselves. As we do. <laughs> and uh, he'll say, um, well, come on in if y'all were y'all. And calls him inside, to the, inside the building. What? I'm, I'm so. What, what does he look like? Oh, uh, uh, I can't see. Oh, you can't see him because well. he's calling from inside a building. Oh, um, Where is the door on this building? If this is the giant skull, is it a tooth? Yeah, uh, it's it's yeah it's it's uh, <laughs> one of the teeth just swings <laughs> out and you just <laughs> walk right in. <laughs> walk right in the gap. Yes. Nothing strange here. Let's go in. Ah, uh, this seems bad, but okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these people being like dead, not dead. Zombies? Not well. Well, yeah, it's probably another spell that makes people look dead, but that's fine. Um. Yeah, okay. The captain, I follow your lead. Yeah, I go in. So you, you go inside and, and and you see the uh, what looks to be a a pretty dang nice tavern. Ooh, nice um, dudes. With you know, yeah, there's nice tables and. Uh, there's 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 various uh, knickknacks on the walls, mm. um, uh, and and you see a uh, well well you you see Taru and Taru go ahead and uh, describe your character. Oh, uh, I guess he'd be standing behind the bar, uh, and uh, you see he's well roughly six four, uh, about three hundred and fifty pounds. He's a black scaled dragonborn. Uh, he at this point his uh, horns are uh, they shape to the sides of his head and then turn down at the back of his head, and he has white feathers poking out the top of it. White feathers do not look natural, and he's kind of slumped over the bar, uh, cleaning a glass. Oh, are you a giant cobalt too? Uh, no. 
it, it is also worth noting that, that amidst this this tranquil scene of a man cleaning up, uh, there's also a, a ton more bodies in here. Oh God! All just like in various positions of slumber, like leaning over tables on the floor. Um, one guy's like hanging from the ceiling by his legs, which is weird. Okay. Was there like a big party or something we missed? Um, it's it's a tavern. It's what we do. Uh, mm. Mm. Hi, um, mm. my name is Garrett. What what did you say your name was? Mm, my name is Taru Blackscale. Mm-hmm. Well, Taru, uh, thanks for inviting us in, I suppose, but real quick question. Um, my captain had a good point. What's with all the bodies? And I don't, I don't think it was just some sick rager you kids had. Um, <laughs> it, it seems okay, a bit Dad. more than that. Uh, well, I believe they are all cursed. Well, Agreed. Captain, it was a good mission. I think uh, of the direction. <laughs> like- and as, as you go to exit, a figure appears out of nothing, oh, twirling, a, twirling a cape. He's got uh, dark grayish skin and, and, and white hair that stands up uh, in like a, like, a, like a V-shape on his head. And he's got a large staff. And at the end of the staff is a, um, a, a very fancy German stein. And he says, welcome. Oh, not that way either. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around the opposite way. <laughs> oh, must be a back door somewhere, I'm guessing. You've got to know the way out, yes. <laughs> it's me, Alcoholeron, and I have cursed these people with the curse of a thousand hangovers. Oh, that's Oof. awful. We gotta get out of here. What a douche. Total dad move. Well, totally okay. dad move, I guess. Dads give people hangovers. You're right. It's like, you know, to show you're... them like, oh, you're, you shouldn't drink. I'm going to show you the worst possible outcome of drinking. I'll alcohol. make you I'll make you smoke a whole car. Yes. I get it. <laughs> Michael on, you get it. Good. You're going to be a great dad. Oh, I can feel yes. it. Very much. Hmm. This guy's on. You know what? <laughs> I would have liked for him to be around a little more, but he oh. was busy with work. And you know what? You got it. I might have met him. I did that. meet a bone daddy. No. <laughs> After a long day of work, if he wants to come home yes. and relax with 20 to 30 beers, well, that's his right. He I'm provides for his family. Can, can I get I'm you sorry. a drink? Can I, no, can I, I get the, you? The curse, is still, the curse is still in effect here, and one drink would fucking destroy me. Oh, no, God. It's a good thing Perry's not here. No. I'm sorry. I don't know. That's. <laughs> So it's a good thing Perry's not here. Anyway, uh, Beetle Boys, you'll never, you'll never save their souls. Uh, <laughs> they are trapped within my hangover domain for a thousand years. How did, how did you get your powers? <laughs> Who do you? <laughs> it's oddly specific. <laughs> I serve the Dark Lord Bacchus. Ah, uh, actually no. Ah, uh, let me say that as Star, because also has no idea what the fuck that is. <laughs> mm. That sounds totally made up, but um, most uh, weird people uh, that have fetishes like you, there's like a game we play. Are there rules to this to free these people, or do we just fight you? I, I just I want to be on the same page. You'll never save them. They will power my alcohol battery for the next thousand years with their slumber. I mean, so if we kill them, does your battery stop and we kill you? I mean, yeah, I, well, no, I won't die. I just won't have a powered alcohol battery and you'll have a lot of blood on your well, hands. Well, I mean, I waste not <laughs> um, I guess the good news is you are in the perfect scenario where after you've committed that horrible atrocity, you will be able to drink away the memories of it. Mm-hmm. Then I'm, again, then you'll just be powering my battery and the cycle begins anew. It's got real dark. Your good friend Taru over there. Why, why isn't he affected? Is he, is he sober? Taru. He was working. He was working last night. <laughs> hmm. Taru, Taru, can you put some of that alcohol in a couple of these bottles for me, please? But, I mean, he just pours an ale into a bottle, sets it on the counter. 
Yeah, no, no, no. I, my bottles, and I slide forward three bottles. Um, he he does it. He fills the bottle. He's like, I, I don't, I don't know what you can do this with with this. Oh no, it's fine. I cork them and put them in my bag. This is for later. Yeah, could, could you fill these two mugs as well? <laughs> no, don't drink them. No, no, I'm sorry. not going to drink. <laughs> just to. Get- all right, well, good luck, Beetle Boys. No, Goodbye. No, I have more oh, questions. He, tur- he, tur- he turns his cape and, into a circle. And, and <laughs> and <then> swoosh. <laughs> you know. I thought you were going to say he turns into a bat and flies away. And I'm like, no, wait, no, what? <laughs> it's really strange when he teleports away. There's like a puddle of alcohol where he was. That's, <laughs> that's strange. Oof. Why do they keep calling us Beetle Boys? <laughs> I'm no, not a Beetle or a boy. That's normal. Look at that. <laughs> that's normal. I get that a lot. <laughs> that's normal. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> hey, Tara. Yes. Did you, did you watch all these guys like pass out? Pretty much. Yeah. I, they kind of just drank. Did you call for help? I did. That's. I'm assuming that's why y'all are here. Yep. Because I called uh... my friend, the proprietor. <laughs> Oh. Oslo <laughs> climbs up onto the onto the bar counter and just stands like our like uh hands on our hips and just Yep, you got us. Oslo, we're supposed to have a sick team name. What is it? The Beetle uh. Boys. <laughs> you hear the voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Beetle Boys! Shut up and go away. <laughs> Okay. He's like actually behind you saying that. If you guys want, you can add me on the book of faces. <laughs> he doesn't actually have magic. He can just run really Follow fast. Follow me in the institute. Yeah. <laughs> he just waves his cape and fucking fucks it. <laughs> He's my favorite villain now. I love this guy so much. Do we have oh to solve God. this? I love him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. We've got a vacancy in position of captain. <laughs> Right here. Oh no, we have a captain. <laughs> we need we need more seamen, unfortunately. Would you like to be a quartermaster? <laughs> oh, you'd be great yeah. for that. We'd never lose alcohol. He just buy only alcohol. No. Uh, okay, anyway, yeah. so I did somewhat poison your like drinks or some shit. Mm, as far as I know, it's got to be magic because I brewed this stuff myself. Oh, that's Someone very good. Magic poison them. Possible. He's like, I've. This is a fresh barrel this last night. And you I seem very calm for someone who has a, a whole bar full of patrons who are kind of knocking dead. like it by magic. <laughs> it, I've been through some shit. Oh, <laughs> tell me. Here's a beer. Tell me about it. I feel that. <laughs> This guy's on no. Here's a beer, tell me about it. <laughs> Here's a beer you poured me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they on the house. <laughs> on the house. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Lawful Stupid just jumped over. First of all, it's free, and we love that. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, wherever you're at, all on the go. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. There are a lot of other vendors out there, a lot of platforms that they will make sure your podcast gets to. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with zero, I say again, with zero minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Go on, Tarud. Don't, don't. (laughs) Let Cat get your tongue. Uh, he kind of like just shakes his head. You don't. You don't want to know. Okay. Oh, I I understand. What about the alcohol wizard? Where does he come in? Did he just show up? Like the front door. The, <laughs> the kind of like points off towards the door. I, he just kind of started harassing my patrons one day. 
Hmm. One day? Like, you let that creep stick around for a while? I mean, this just happened last night. Well, <laughs> I mean, he I was paying know. until last night, so... Huh. <laughs> Did you see him do any, like, whoosh casting kind of stuff or something? I don't know what Garrett does. Okay. He, he Oslo, do that Garrett. again. I what? think I, I think do what? it again, Oslo. Whoosh. Yeah, that's okay. Get it now. See, I can learn magic. Yeah, that's how we do it. Good job. Uh, <laughs> I assumed he was just drunk. He kind of sounds it all the time. He sounds like something. Hmm. Well. You know, Guess the only way I know how to solve this riddle is not the best one. Um, but, what, killing everyone? Oh, I was going to set fire to the alcohol. Um, but I think oh. that just stops future problems. I don't, yeah, that, I don't think it, that not... helps the people who are already down. Well, hold on. D- don't say uh, that fireball can't solve problems. It's solved many <laughs> problems. Okay. But the, uh, we'll the, the, hold on for The now. spectral form... The spectral form of uh, Jasper T. Ghost appears mm-hmm. at, at, at the bar. Uh, and, he, and he goes, Now, uh, Taurus, uh, uh, do not forget that uh, we still have the possibility of your great, 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 great grandfather's elixir. <laughs> All right. That. That is the possibility. It will be a difficult challenge to get to, though. Okay, don't bury the lead here, son. It sounds like you have a cure for this here conundrum. You called for help. Just tell us what to do. Let's go. Okay, Mario. Let's go. <laughs> it's it's me, Oslo. <laughs> <laughs> I need Mario. The Hart. next time, the Did next it. time, the next time Oslo jumps, I need the what, 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 Here we are. Anyways, um, yes, uh, uh, of Didn't course. You know what to uh, do? Jeb- Jebediah Blackscale, uh, the founder of the Troll Skull Tavern, mm-hmm. many years ago, he he created uh, the Hangover Fixer Elixir, mm-hmm. which he. Which the, the recipe to uh, is is buried uh, deep, deep, deep within the, uh, the the dungeon that lies below this this tavern. Uh, you could, if you could, get, if you could venture down there and, and claim it, you could possibly save all these people. Uh, you had me at recipe. So, where which which ways to the end? Uh, where do we go? Where the doors open? Mm. Taru kind of like motions and has them follow through down to the cellar. Is it me or is it a little bit weird that there's a dungeon in a tavern? Uh, Oslo, it's a skull for a building. It's a giant skull, yeah. This trap. It would would be weirder if it didn't have a dungeon. (laughs) In fact, the dungeon entrance popping up to where people are already drinking, it just kind of makes sense. Uh, Okay. Uh, We're in the cellar then. And then, of course, uh, through the cellar, uh, past the the stock of various spirits, uh, there is a, a deeper uh, a ladder that descends down into the dark depths. It, I deep. descend. Did anyone bring an escape rope of any kind? <laughs> no. I don't dig. I pat myself. <laughs> I left him on the ship. Again. Okay. All right. That's Again. that's fine. Well, you know, uh, beauty before age. Forward, guy song. <laughs> he thinks this is like he's one. <laughs> yes, of course. And I and you guys, descent. I go in last. It's it is a longer descent than you would have hoped for. It takes you twelve minutes. Like this? Twelve straight minutes. This is a much longer descent <laughs> than I hoped for. Yeah, just twelve minutes of fucking ding 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 ding. Holy ding, shit! Ding. I hate uh, this it, very much. <laughs> It's not super taxing. You're going down. Going up, you can imagine, is going to be penis-y. <laughs> no, Sorry, that's just how I describe it. No, I don't know. I, I did not expect that to be the, what you said. 
<laughs> Penisy? That's yeah. That's, that's, that's just my Penis-y. vocab, girl. Penis-y. I've absolutely heard you say it before. <laughs> I say, it, I say it pretty often. Working out with you is um, going to be weird. Yeah, all right, we're going to do another circuit. It's, it's going to be weird. real penisy. What? <laughs> what? I just mean tacky. You know, it's going to be <laughs> as penisy as you can handle. <laughs> when we tag these episodes, these are the ones we get the most hits on, actually. So take that penis-y? one. Yeah, SEO just yep. goes crazy for it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Makes sense. So you you come upon uh your, your this this large antechamber uh it is lit with torches that were burning since you showed up which is weird but hey fuck it yolo um, fire and and you are faced with a large door and this door this doorway is just encapsulated with fire and lightning and these big gnashing spikes that keep just going up and down. Uh, it seems like it's, 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 it's very well protected. Um, but in front of that, there is an old, barely functional, antique, ragtime, other adjective, <laughs> <laughs> piano. Oh. <clears throat> I know oh, this guy's okay. going forward. Wipes off the dust. I, I'm going to go over and uh, hit the old middle C. It sounds like it's in perfect tune. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll sit down. <clears throat> uh, there is sheet music before you. Um, in fact, anybody who's proficient with any instrument can read the sheet music. This seems simple enough. <laughs> we know Sky Song's proficient with the instrument now. Uh, what do I see of the notes? What the what song or what uh, tune is it? It's 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 a nice little jaunty ditty. Uh, you start to play it as as it goes, and then one thing that you note is roll an investigation check. Uh, twelve. There's a there's a repeating bridge uh, in this song, and uh, if you uh, do you have anything to write with? Are you ready to take some notes? <laughs> I got it. Uh, so so what you'll you'll note in this repeating bridge um, is uh, the notes are F A C A D E oh. repeating. Ah. Facade, facade, facade. Fakes. Uh, it's, it's, we can walk into this. Garrett, what? try it out. Uh, what? The, the notes spell the word facade, fake, so. Oh, that's I wonderful. Think... That sounds like a you job. <sighs> it, it. Nothing is more fake than you, is my it? friend. Well, no, that's not what it is. <laughs> Garrett, I, I appre- appreciate. Uh, the humor, but no, that's not what I mean. I don't mean the fakest person goes. It's just that, you know what? I, I'll do it. And so I, I'm going to walk forward and, and like looking from the back and just hand out as I as I walk a little closer and a little closer and a little closer. And your and your hand does in fact pass through the flames and the lightning and the large I'm steel gnashing teeth. Uh, oh. You're so ve- you're so dead. You're very <laughs> incredibly dead. I can't believe you would do that. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it is a facade that you're able to pass through, and God damn it, if I didn't think you'd be here for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, well, I have a, a few things to do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I want to go collect every one of the keys, inspect them with I just, magic. I just want to sit down at the piano and play <laughs> songs. I'll be here when you get back. That's just He's just fucking Billy Joel you know. and... <laughs> <laughs> Some things fucking you Billy Joel and his balls blah, 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 blah. off. <laughs> I go through the so, fake portal. <laughs> you go through the fake portal, all of you, and you're and you're faced with a divergent hallway. It goes left and it goes right, and the left side has a sign very easily uh, in in draconic for those who can read okay. it. Uh, it says small, and the right has a sign that says big. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Taru, hey, that says small. And. You can I, read. I'm so proud of you. I'm your fucking quartermaster. I do. I have a whole problems. notebook of stuff. Only draconic. <laughs> yeah, and only draconic. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm been debating. I, I don't know books. if also can actually read common. 
I don't think so. Uh, Taru, you live above this dungeon. Is this your first venture into the dungeon? So I can't read sheet music? I couldn't get past the first door? <laughs> I thought it was very fucky. I thought it was going to kill me dead. <laughs> no. Oh, boy, yes. Okay. Well, Captain, which direction should we go? Ha. Huh. So, what I think mm-hmm. is a small one goes in the small hallway and the big one goes in the big hallway. Oh, mm-hmm. I can see how you might get that. So far, logic is, is it, sound. There's me. I'm a little dragon. Mm-hmm. And then he, he's big a dragon. big dragon. Yep. I don't know what you guys are, though. Medium size. Oh, we, I, look, I look at Garrett. Sh- sh- medium non-dragons. <laughs> we don't fit in here, Garrett. This is not our place. <laughs> Speak for yourself. We must turn back and play piano. Duel, dueling piano style. <laughs> That's fair. We you can do a duet. Come the, on. The, let's go. The, Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> Bling, 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 bling. <laughs> For like two hours while we're gone. <laughs> bling, you guys bling, come bling, back bling. super beat up. Bling, How did bling, bling, go? Bling, bling. Uh, <laughs> um, what? Uh, it's a, uh, Captain, just a suggestion. Perhaps we stick together, but obviously we can't all go through right. the smaller hole comfortably. It's not. They're not a small hole and a big hole. No, they're, they're the same size. Says, two e- yeah. Equally sized passages. One has a sign that says small. One has a sign that says big. I still say the thing I say. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, because it, it might get small. I do. I, I think this is a weird thing to be hung up on, Captain. I think left or right, we'll see what happens. Well, we know you guys can all fit in the big one, so let's go on the big one. Perfect, Taru. You are quite possibly the largest of the three of us. Mm. It makes sense for you to head up this uh, venture. A normal person that we use for fodder, um, who's our tank, um, <laughs> she's, uh, I don't know. Not dead. She's yeah, not dead. She's not dead, which is important. So if you'll lead the way, that would be wonderful. Why do we have to specify that she's not dead? Uh, well, so you guys tell me your confront. last people were, well, oh, good point. He, it, it, Taru kind of shrugs and he's like, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's my grandfather's dungeon, so why not? Did your mm. grandfather like, uh, tell you stories him? of this when you were a wee little? And he like uses his hand to go to like four to six feet. Um, <laughs> dragonborn. And he'll be like, the only thing that they have ever told me about Jebediah was that he liked pranks. Oh, great. Ah. Mm, very good. He just starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> you you go down this hallway for a while. It opens up into to a, a larger circular room. Um, this, the circular room leads out and then there is a uh, there is a pedestal in the center, but on the the far side, there is a like drop, like a dead drop chasm, and then there's like what appears to be a trough. Beyond that, maybe about a foot and a half, um, extending past this this just dead drop chasm, uh, and then on the pedestal is written some in, in, engraved into the stone uh, some words that are as follows. This old one runs forever, but never moves at all. He has not lungs nor throat, but still a mighty roaring call. Hmm, riddles. Riddles, riddles, riddles. Taru? Is that, is that a monster? Sounds more like a river than a monster. Oh. You said is so the trough is the trough like per, uh, parallel to the chasm or is it across the chasm? It's a it's across from the chasm, but it's strange to me because you made hand gestures and the hand gestures you did were perpendicular. I, um, I meant parallel at first, and I, it's a parallel <laughs> or there 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 is a horizontal schism, mm-hmm. and then horizontally about a foot and a half beyond that is a trough that is also horizontally angled. Okay, okay. And how wide is this schism? chasm about, about about a foot and a half oh okay oh 
So I put water in it. I put water in it? You just sure. empty in your your water sack. Oh ah, man, we didn't bring we didn't bring the uh, forever cup. Oh uh, <laughs> yes, I. Let's <laughs> fucking talk. Wellspring. Yeah. <laughs> The forever cup. <laughs> forever cup. It's, That's what it's called now. <laughs> That's the street. Are you gonna? Are, are you gonna put some? Put some? Like, are you putting some water in it? We. I'm asking. We do have a lot of booze. Could use booze. <laughs> river of booze. Did anyone bring any of that booze? You. I mean, you have three. Sure, dollars, DM. This is mine. I have these Suffer. two mugs. Perfect. So it's, well, <laughs> you've been holding those the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> it's the only way I can play piano. That way I have double fist. He played climbed, piano. I climbed down the feet. ladder that way. <laughs> yeah. All feet just hop, yeah. hop, 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 hop. <laughs> hop down the road. What's taking you guys so long? Hey. He's got a lot of core strength. <laughs> he's well, he's 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 done a lot of work on a pole, so he just like wraps his <laughs> leg around it and slides. I just slide. See you know. <laughs> in You hear the echoing call. See you know. For twelve minutes. <laughs> Well, he finally realized he has a prehensile tail. <laughs> uh, Ginge, can you go ahead and edit in 12 minutes of nerds? Just hold it. Oh, God. <laughs> New single. Uh. Uh, I, I don't know that I have any water. Does anyone else have any water? Because I have an alternative, but I don't know. I want to see if there's another thing that we can do. <laughs> I have a water skin. I thought you I wanted pour to water pour in, in the it. booze. It's ridiculous. As, <laughs> as, as you pour water into it, uh, the weight of the liquid causes the uh, the the trough itself to recess a bit. So you, you keep, bear in mind you're you're kind of leaning over, sure. pouring this pouring this water, and the the trough begins to descend a little bit from the weight. And as it does, the walls in this chamber begin to close. I, I, I run and jump into the trough under the walls. I assume. Well, I assume <laughs> before I, I I'm making an what? assumption. So let me. This trough is uh-huh. coming lower. The door, the walls are closing above it. Yeah. Like no, to like they are level with. I, I I know where your head's at right now, Dwayne, and I love. Yeah, it. I'm. I'm very I'm excited because, like, if you were to lay down flat in this trough, yeah. it would squish everything above you, and you'd be in the in the recess created for the trough with the walls over top of you. There is not room for four people. Okay, I cannot specify. Okay. Well, now that, no, like you could you could no, do that knowing that. I don't do that because okay. in my and head I was just like, "There's enough space," but I guess I didn't. Think. Gear just cannonballed into this trough. And it closed <laughs> really fast. Gear's the other one who survived. It closed really fast as he lays flat. We had no time to react. It's, it's, how and, did, and how it's did covered you survive in... the dungeon? Oh, it's simple. When they died, I just brought them back as zombies. <laughs> oh yes, <He's, laughs> mom, you, I brought my friends to, so make us sandwiches. <laughs> you have to imagine that that that. You, so so in the scenario, which I love, by the way, and I love it, is that. Delmore. No. Ah! Oh, the one. <laughs> Garrett is the only one who survives for a little bit because as the walls close in, it basically turns into a giant juicer. Oh. Um, as 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 you guys are splatted, and that liquid then runs into the trough, which is encapsulated by the, by the closed walls. So Garrett drowns in your goo. Oh Here's God! Victory for Sky Song. Take that, Garrett. <laughs> Even after death, I still win. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But uh, we'll, what we'll say instead is that you pour some of your water skin on there. The weight causes the, the walls to shift in a little bit. You realize that and stop pouring. Um, the, the only way, the, the only entrance and exit was the way that we came in. Correct. Yeah. This room seems dumb. I what have an try, idea. What if we, oh, let's hear it. What if we all stand at the door and Garrett uses magic to pick up the the water and pour it in? Hmm. So we lose the canteen, but like we won't be squished because we'll be in the other hallway. Garrett? Garrett, do you have mage hand? I just realized. I don't remember and if you have mage hand or not. First of all, it's a very comical bit that I uh, pat the captain on the shoulder with it and it creeps her out. So yes, I absolutely That's right. It. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, but uh, is the hall, is like this room a dead end except for this trough? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's as good as I had as any. And I, I'm, I'm resigned to following your lead. So I walk to the, uh, the door, the hallway, and prepare I myself. That's right. You've got the hat. 
before he walks to the doorway, Taro's gonna actually investigate the chasm. See, uh, it, it looks like it just goes straight fucking down, like past the limits of your dark vision. <laughs> he kind of shakes his head and then walks back towards the door. Did you see anything? No, it's just a giant hole. No. Like a forever Why are we pit? pouring the water in the hall? Dude. You... Okay. Uh, pour water in hole. Just a little bit. Uh, 14 minutes later, you hear a splash. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So there is water at the bottom. Important to note. Eventually. Uh, when I pour a little bit more, just like a drip into the trough, does the whole room just start moving and stop? Or is, as I pour, it goes? As you pour, the weight of the water causes the trough to descend. Um, so it's incremental to how much you pour causes the thing to go down, which correspondingly makes the walls close in. Does that make sense? It does. Um, okay. I'm going to go back in the room. So the room's just a little bit smaller. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to um, take just a small bit of my rations, nothing uh, tangible, but and I'm just gonna like drop like some stuff in the trough, just like bread or something. Okay. Does the room move? Yeah, a, a corresponding bread's amount of weight. The walls come <laughs> in a little bit. Okay, great. Okay, so. Good news. It's not the water that's important here. Just- what you'll know mm-hmm. as you're looking in in the trough itself is that. There is um, the the water that you'd poured in previously is gone, and you look, and there appears to be like a small drainage on it, so that it 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 loses liquid very slowly. And where so were the words yeah were the walls going back out? Yeah, the walls were going back. Out. It was almost it was almost so slow that you couldn't perceive it, um, but that as the water slowly drained, it did return to oh. now it is only oh, a loaf of bread's distance. Cool. Um, Captain, if I die, um, oops. I'm going to pour water in the trough just oops. ever so gently. And, and as these walls get closer, I want to do this. And you tell me if I'm going to horribly get fucked up and life is life. I want to do this until these guys get closer and, I, and I've got maybe like a foot on each side of me. So. Uh, I don't know if you have enough water in your skin to do that to this whole trough, but let's assume that you pull your resources, everybody's water skin. Oh, I'm not using my water skin. Booze, whatever. Uh, yeah, we, c- we can make that happen. When that happens, um, I want to investigate the trough and look for, like, is it just full of water? Has it, wh- now that it's moved down, do I see something new? You don't see anything new, no. Um, you see uh, a soggy loaf of bread, uh, and Bits you see this 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 collection of water, which is very 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 slowly draining. Okay, what if we check well, out the other room. Perhaps yes, there's a clue no, there. Nothing to do it's... here for now. Hmm. Tari walks well, up behind now me, I don't... and I did. You did hear the splash in the the chasm, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to go so, swimming, Taru? I don't think there's a way jumped? back up. It's what a if we jump? Half. Good luck, my friend. You're a giant. I want. I want. I, I, I want to be you. clear. Uh, it was 14 minutes from the time you poured the water to when you heard the splash, mm-hmm. uh, and at at that terminal velocity, it would be like hitting concrete. Well, I mean, not truly, but th- just getting back up would be the worst. You would go through all five levels of exhaustion before you... Oh, you're, you're talking about like, oh, let me jump down here in Featherfall. Yeah, yeah, just get near the end. Let me jump fall. jump yeah, in yeah, Featherfall. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it would just take a long... I mean, by the time you hit Terminal Velocity, I mean, I think Terminal Velocity is like, what is that? Um, man, a sp- lot. Well, okay. Negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Yeah, that's there you go. Yeah, I mean, there's an actual number for it, um, for just your average thing. Um, yeah, no, I think that's not... If you want to go swimming, let's try that after the next room. Yeah, I think the small room may have something... Shane? Yeah, what's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was sure what was going on. That's a good boy. Um, yeah, let's go take out the small room. <laughs> so you guys go, go back out and then you head down the, the small path? Yes. Yeah. 
You come into a large circular room. There is no schism. There is no trough. Uh, there is a stone pedestal, and there are words in, uh, chiseled into it, which read, "An up, an, an open-ended barrel. It is shaped like a hive. It is filled with the flesh, and the flesh is alive." And there's nothing in this room but, like, a stone. What, what was that? I missed that description. It's, uh. it's like a stone pedestal, just like the last room. And in that stone pedestal uh, is engraved the phrase, an open-ended barrel. It is shaped like a hive. It is filled with the flesh, and the flesh is alive. Open-ended barrel. Like, like a cask, like a, a beer barrel. That's alive. But it's shaped like a hat. Hmm. Bees? It's filled with the flesh. It might be a brain or something. Flesh. It's weird. Hmm. This is an intriguing puzzle your grandfather has put together. Or great, 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 great grandfather. Yeah, hmm. I understand he was a weird person. I don't think that's going to cover it, Taru. There's many more adjectives <laughs> that I would like to apply to him. <laughs> but for now, is there anything your old papa uh, would have uh, told you about this? Um, you know, telling you stories of barrels of flesh. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Before my dad put me to sleep at night, he always told me <laughs> barrels of flesh. Hmm. It was his favorite bedtime story. I never understood One why. One day, you will be confronted with open-ended barrels of flesh. The flesh will be alive. You cannot avoid it. Hmm. Well, Captain. <clears throat> Just saying we need a stand in a barrel, maybe? I don't... That's weird. Open-ended barrel, shaped like a hive. Okay, okay, let, let me do, let me put it this way. There are two riddles that await you. And and here are the two riddles. I'm going to phrase them in in the in the most uh, beneficial way possible. So, in the big room. This old one runs forever but never moves at all. He has not lungs nor throat, but still a mighty roaring call. What is it? And then in the small room, an open-ended barrel, it is shaped like a hive. It is filled with the flesh, and the flesh is alive. What is it? The answer is written in Elvish. The answer is written in common. <laughs> um. They're not part of the same riddle, but the two things go together. There, there is a little, there's a little thing behind each one correlating to small and big, but. Oslo, you uh, jump up on that pedestal. Let's start there. Jump maybe, up on it? Yeah, maybe the taller you get, the smarter you'll get. Taro, uh, how's that uh, working uh, for you? Not. It's not. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, okay. I guess I jump on the pedestal. Okay, you jump on the pedestal. Boy, let me tell you what. <laughs> Play this fiddle. See if see how that works. Did you? You didn't get a fiddle. You just proficient with the fiddle. I have a I have a, a fiddle esque thing that I use at all times. Okay, that's too dirty of a joke for now. Um, <laughs> that's not. I literally <laughs> have an instrument with me at all times. Guys, so we get I there. It is again. That's okay, enough jokes. Okay. <laughs> Especially of that variety. There's a quest to solve here. I swore the first riddle was river, but now I'm rethinking it. Well, we did pour water in the thing, but we didn't actually let the room close. Um, though we did use a lot of liquid to do that. What if it's a facade as well, and we, we just, just dive in? I can't stress Haru? that I don't think that's the right <laughs> idea. Taru, I think you're the man for this job. I don't think your grandpapa from from way back would let you die. He's gonna before you do anything crazy, he's gonna come back in spirit form and say, Don't do that. 
Yeah, I mean, I. Man, yeah, I know it sounds crazy too. Okay, let's figure this thing out. Fuck, I'm stuck. Can you know? You know I don't... Can I hear the riddles again? I would love to read for you the riddles one more Specifically time. Specifically, the big um, one. The big riddle is: This old one runs forever, but never moves at all. He has not lungs nor throat, but still a mighty roaring call. Hmm. Are you reading this in a way that we are supposed to get? Because you said, listen to the way that I say it out for you. Okay. There's something I'm missing here. It, one is water, the other one's food. Because, what? like, well, it's a hive and, like, bees. But anyways, I was thinking water. Well, okay. L- listen, listen to the words. A- an open-ended barrel. That's one thing. It is shaped... Like a hive. So we know that this thing is shaped like a hive. It's an open-ended barrel. It is filled with the flesh, and the flesh is alive. They're bees. Is it fish a... in a barrel. <laughs> fish in a... Bee in a fish barrel. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to read the big one again, and this time I really want you to listen to the way I read it. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yes. This old one runs forever, but never moves at all. He has not lungs nor throat, but still a mighty roaring call. That does zero things for me. Does should anyone we get, else Should we all load? go in the room and yell? Because that's what I just heard. <laughs> um, <let's>, I, <laughs> for some reason. Shades are- for some reason. Shades, you were so worried we were going to solve this so quickly. <laughs> well, no, I hope not. I, I, I told Star before we started, I said, I wrote the thing. I don't know how long it's going to take. It could take 15 minutes. It could take two hours. <laughs> Your ladder's correct. <laughs> well. <laughs> I wonder. Okay, the, okay. The flesh is alive. We do that, could though. Could be talking about a body part? So the kidney, <laughs> wouldn't the kidney be the closest thing to, like, that style? Um, do you have any more of that uh-huh. booze okay, that's okay. poured on a pedestal? Well, let okay, let's let's keep following this path. Could it be a body part? Let's think about this. So, an open-ended barrel, it is shaped like a hive, right? Mm-hmm. We've got that. We're picturing that in our mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A hive open on one end. It's filled with the flesh, and the flesh is alive. So that could be a body part. Look, from the beginning, all I can think about is sex parts, all right? So, like, I've been you, trying to, like, not acknowledge that. Rat. Hey, like, what, well, this what, is a very what sex part? fucking podcast. What okay? sex part? A booby. <laughs> what sex part could it possibly be? A booby. A bosom. Open into barrel. Prostate. It's a badge. Open into barrel. Oh, God. Okay, so the open into barrel is, is... It's is, filled is, with is, the flesh, and the flesh is alive. It's a badge. <laughs> It's it's a vag with a penis in it. Yes, <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of, and I was trying not uh, to go there. No. <laughs> the only... I don't often think of a vag as an open-ended barrel shaped like a hive. <laughs> but when you do, <laughs> you put it in riddles. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are doing a couple things wrong, but we'll solve that off air. Um, okay, okay, uh, but, it, okay. So, so the flesh is like I. Mm, I, I'm not sure if I'm I, supposed I, to I, shout this answer out or do something to the pedestal. But I'm I'm so I want to help you so much that I will tell you that it is filled with the flesh and the flesh is alive does refer to a body part. Yeah, I, I yeah. feel like that's I don't know. I feel like it'd be the kidney, right? Because like, doesn't that filter things? The 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 open ended barrel that's shaped like a hive. Is not a body part. Is no. it a stomach? Oh, that's not a, that's not a body part. Oh, stomach. The stomach is a body yes, part. The, no, no the but the, the, you said you said the barrel is not confirmed. The body part. Right. <laughs> it's it's something that living flesh would be inside of. So open in a barrel, shape shape like a hive, has a body part in it. What could it be? I mean. 
What is it they steal? Is it the, is it kidneys or livers that flash market people put into ice? <laughs> You're really focusing on organs right now, and I wish that you wouldn't. Well, listen, the other person in my head was talking about dicks and vaginas, and I just don't think that's the right <laughs> We're getting clo- We're really that's- expanding our repertoire of body parts. We're going to get it. Okay, let's, let's pause. Let's pause for the cause. Because I'm not going to just tell you the answer. Let's pause for the cause. Let's mm-hmm. let's go. Let's go back to the other riddle. And I and and there are two words in this riddle that I want you to really pay attention all to. Involved. I put emphasis on them before. So this old one runs forever, but never moves at all. He has not lungs nor throat. Still a mighty roaring call. So more body parts. No body parts in this one at all. No one. At all. At all, period. I'm, I'm assuming we all need to do something. No, 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 no. Do we all just need to sit here and go, ah! I, I, have, I have emphasized two words. What do they have in common? All. Oh. Wait. All call. A-W-O, mm-hmm. A-W. Wow, fuck. A-L-L. Also known when two two words end with the same sound, we call that rhyming. They rhyme, so it stands to reason that the answer might also. Yeah. What is is the what? answer? Uh, waterfall. Just, yes, is it waterfall? waterfall? But I don't know if I'm supposed to shout it out. Okay, we'll go back to the big room. Go back waterfall. to the big room. I mean, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you and and you say the word waterfall. And as you do. The doorway behind you seals with a large stone slat, and a, a an amber liquid begins pouring from sight unseen above you into the trough. Oh, Ooh. into the trough. Okay. Oh. And the walls, oh, the walls are closing in. I run over and put my hand and body over it so that it will not flow into the trough, but instead off to the side. It's it's spill it's spilling around oh, you that's and a into great the trough. Look and it on just you. But get going. out of there! You're going to die. But. As, as, as it's on top of you and you can feel it and you can smell it, that's ale. Oh, don't drink it. <laughs> it smells like the captain. But I'll, 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 I'll push out of the way and like not let any like get into my mouth. <laughs> no, you got a lot of practice with okay. that. Okay. Weird. It's filling up the trough now because you're out of the way and the walls are closing. Yeah, but it's an empty room, right? Oh, so, I thought you said it was still filling it up around me. Yeah, it is. Oh. Just slower. I was slowing it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I mean, confirm, yeah. this is still an empty room, right? It's got the pedestal in the middle, but the walls are closing in. Oh. Throw the what? Throw the ale on the pedestal. <laughs> We're gonna die! So, I mean, I'm okay, out of this, room. Uh, this, the, this the is my fault closed. for thinking you guys were as, as cool as I was when you were young. Um, a waterfall is an act of pouring booze from a high point and then you chug it. That's called a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you set us up to not drink the alcohol, supposed. Why did I set you up that way? When did I say don't drink it? It was the clues. The he said they the came current. in and they drank oh. and now they're frozen. But now knowing what I know, the alcohol that did it. I'll drink. Since this, I'll drink it. I'm going to f- do what you tell me to do. <laughs> Swallow. Okay. Swallow all right. it all. You, you. I you don't stand, swallow though. You stand. You st- <laughs> well, I nail. I have. I do not nail. <laughs> I hate okay. ale. It's so gross. I'll not swallow it, but I'll put it in my mouth. You strat. You straddle the trough. <laughs> Why do I str- <laughs> you throw my head back? You got to with my. You throw your head. You head back. Mouth open as you take a waterfall chug. Roll a Constitution save, please. Oh, fascinating. What did you do last night? Dude, you'll never believe it. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> uh, Constitute, that's a 12. So you you have succeeded the first stage. Mm. And, you, and you, you've gotten down that, that booze and it was hard for you and it continues to flow and you know you just got to buckle down, roll a constitution, save the throw. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, 14. 
and you're and oh you're keeping it down oh it's so warm mm. oh it's been here for hundreds of years oh gross oh, it's gnarly it's skunked as hell but you oh you just got you got to keep drinking it you're the only thing standing between your friends and the brink of oblivion and being crushed to death so you so you drink again roll a constitution saving throw can i just walk out of this room or does the door shut five the door was the closed. door shut oh i missed that five so uh, it's too much it's too much for you <laughs> you cough and you sputter uh, and you have to back up. <laughs> you, you, someone and, else and, take over, please. <laughs> someone else has to do it. Someone else has I to step up. I shove Taro forward. Safe. You're the biggest. Go. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Taro will step forward and kind of like pull Sky Song over towards everyone else, and then get on top of the trough and start drinking. Mm. You straddle that trough. Is it required you stick to your, straddle? You the stick trough. your maw That's towards weird. the sky and you make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> he did that really easy. Yeah, that's practice. I think he's been here before. <laughs> he lied to us. <laughs> Them bastards This lying. is his first date 17. spot. 17 is enough as you're able to 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 just drain the last dregs of this of this waterfall and it slowly pitters out and gets thinner to a drip and it stops. You know, Taro, those are some powerful swallow muscles. I'm proud. Really. He kind of, he kind of like gets back over to, to everyone else and wipes his mouth. It needs more salt. <laughs> Spelches. <laughs> uh, uh, and and as this this waterfall comes to an end, the floor underneath of you begins to shift and turn, and the stones. Become a spiral staircase downwards. Okay, good point. But I think I've solved the other riddle. Should we do that one first? The yes. Door, the door yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, I go Is back it, in yeah, the, the door, other room. Well, the, 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 the door, the door unseals when the waterfall oh, okay. stops. I go back into the other room. I assume so. This is Zelda. The door just unlocks. Now the yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> so I go into the other room and I look around and I say, "Well, apparently you just have to say what the riddle is." Is it a thimble? And as you <gasps> say that, a, a very small, teeny tiny shot glass uh, comes up from the stone pedestal and it has some sort of clear liquid in it. Oh my Oslo, fucking go god. Drink Tara it, puts please. his hand over the top of it. Don't drink that. Don't what? What? don't drink what? that. What? 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 I mean, no, I think it's those guys. It's just a little drink. Yeah, it's just, just a little drink. It's, it's, it's a little me sized drink. Yeah, it's an Oslo sized drink. If, if you insist. I'm... And he hands it to her. <laughs> go ahead, Ozzy. What can go wrong? You've got this, Captain. Ah, it, take it. It makes you braver. Uh, make a constitution save. But if I don't... If I don't throw my dice across the room and almost hit the dog. Okay, Jesus. Stars apparently had some of this magic juice. Nat 20! <laughs> What's your constitution modifier? Two. So 22. You are, you are successful. <laughs> I, just, it, it, I haven't got a net twenty on this game in so long. You do. It was it was it was it was a flat DC of twenty. So I had if you had a negative oh, con modifier, you would no, have I, I don't dump con. I don't better than that. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so so you you kick this this little thim, this tiny little barely a sip of liquid you kick back. And let me tell you, Oslo, you've breathed dragon fire before, and it was nothing <laughs> compared to this. Damn. This thing is the omega gut rot. This is the whitest of lightnings. This is the shine. This is roughly the equivalent of eight hundred percent alcohol. How do they do it? Science doesn't understand. Why is it so spicy? <laughs> Why is it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> also knocks it back and immediately just. Ah, 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 I think I'm dying. Ah. <laughs> I think I'm dying. Don't yeah, go into the, the light. Floor open. Ah. Yeah, and the floor becomes a spiral staircase. Oh, yeah. excellent. We got rid of all of our water, didn't we? Oh, no. No, I still have mine. Here, have some. Have a shot. Have a shot of water. <laughs> You're a weird person. <laughs> I love you, though. Taru, yeah, you're big and strong down the staircase, please. Right, I mean, uh, Taru kind of like looks around for a second and then I, I told you it was down. I told you we were going to go down. And then he starts heading down. He's, you're all right. He's got a point. Yeah, you go down the spiral staircase for a ways and then 
you're there. And it's mm. peculiar because it looks so much like the tavern above, like a smaller version of it. Um, mm -hmm. And there's like portraits of a guy that looks like Taru, but he's wearing like a straw hat. Is that your <laughs> great, 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 great grandfather? Or uh, you? I would assume so. Like he inspects the picture for like an ink plate or whatever. And it and it's it sure enough underneath it says Jebediah flight scale. Jebediah. Hmm. Well, tarnation grandson. Oh. <laughs> You're still a knife. Like starts. Weird. Starts looking around. Uh, the, the spoopy ethereal form of the ghost of your great 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 grandfather appears before you. Oh, neat. I can't believe you done did it. You did both of the drinks. Oh, he had to do one. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Your your ale needs to work. It's kind of kind of damn son. It's, I haven't seen you in years. Your shit sucks. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, you go ahead and put your finest ale into a a stone trap for three hundred years, and we'll see how it tastes. He he asked Garrett for one of the uh, the the containers that he poured of the ale and uh, uh, poured it into a mug. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't give you that. I can give you more. The, no, well, these three are for me later. I'm sure? concerned what you're going to do with that. You tell me your plan and I'll see if I'm willing to part with these three beautiful things that I'm going to use for later. To show my grandfather that my ale's better than his? Well, yours is cursed. I don't think that's a good a uh, reason to show him. Mm, right that's now. true. Uh, the gaps that you guys just <laughs> fill in with your nonsense. <laughs> okay, I. You know. It's called improvisation. Well, you know, I do. I am so sorry. So no, is that better? Does that make it better? <laughs> Have I filled your gaps better, boss? Hmm. Yes. Okay, great. That's that's a hit. People still talk about that. They love it. So, Grandpapa, <laughs> we're here. Yeah, what do you reckon? We're here for some uh, your special elixir that you put together sometime. Oh, my hangover fixer elixir. Yes. Somebody, somebody party a little bit too hard. A uh, lot of people did. They all frozen up there. That uh, they're cursed with thousand hangovers. Oh. That really weird guy. Yeah, Alka Hel Alka or whatever. Strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Strikes <laughs> again. That guy. <laughs> Man, he was always jealous of me back in school. <laughs> Damn, he's old. He, yeah, he's a lich. But he was yeah. a nerd. Ah. He was fine until I made him pay his tab. Then, yeah, he's a cheapskate too. What a piece of shit. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, if, if it's the fuck over all Alki, I I'm, I'm hook you up. Hold on a second, let me... And he starts, like, digging through, like, the drawers and shit, just, like, throwing stuff. Oh, here we go. And he hands you a, a, a very, very aged parchment. Oh. That's, that's the recipe right there. Oh, Toro, this is for you, because I don't know how to make anything. And, uh, he kind of, like, looks at it. Committed to memory. In case we lose it, committed to memory. And Didn't someone just write it down? Well, it is written down, but in case it gets blown away or, st or torched or, or waterfalled on the way back up. And he kind of looks at it, it's like... He looks at his, his, his grandfather's ghost and says, Do you need alchemy tools to make this? Kind of... Uh, no, you shouldn't. I never. We never had none of that back in my day. Then I could brew this up top. Easy. We also got Garrett. Uh, j just, just for the record, uh, the recipe consists of uh, one half bag crushed funyuns, <laughs> uh, one half bottle Pedialyte, <laughs> uh, red Gatorade, two shot, two shot glasses uh, bacon grease, fresh. Oh God! It says mm. bacon grease, fresh in parentheses, um, and then uh, actually just a shot of rum. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Can Garrett I mean, commit this to memory? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Garrett can commit this to memory. Uh, awesome. Can Sky Song? No, we cannot. Misremember it? <laughs> to memory? 
Yes, you can misremember it later. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can keep it. You can. Get so, it. A bag of pork rinds, I believe. <laughs> yeah, you can keep it for when Perry gets back. Oh, no, that's not my plan, but I like it. <laughs> a very helpful potion to have in your particular crew. Oh, I've got a plan. Don't worry. <laughs> that that's that sounds concerning. ominous. Yeah. So you guys head back up. Yeah. You, you, get, you, you get brewing this this fine fine fixer elixir, and you're able to administer it to the 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 defeated uh, <laughs> patrons one by one, and they come to, and they're like, "Anybody want some breakfast?" <laughs> <laughs> And like every one, there's like a hundred plus patrons. Every time you apply it, they would. <laughs> Anybody want some breakfast? <laughs> Ta- Taru just... talks to Jasper and has him start making everybody breakfast. Hell yeah! Why is a ghost making breakfast? That's concerning. I work here. <laughs> what do you do for a living? <laughs> Sorry, turns out it's the grandpa. Apparently, I come save places like this. I didn't realize I signed up for the job, but well, you know, here we are. I think every time uh, someone wakes up, they say, you want breakfast? I was always like, hey, do you want to join a crew? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a sailor? <laughs> Networking, I love it. Boy, do we, just save you. we just saved your life. Can you join my crew now. Want to join the crew? <laughs> Especially the kobolds. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Most of them are old miners. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't have... Don't have any skills or nothing, but... Okay. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be food, right? Oh yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Operation Pack of Cobolds is a go. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Take Over the Mainland with Cobolds. As they lick, as they lick their own eyeballs and scratch themselves. As, as kobolds, we're getting along great. Uh, okay, well, we've solved your mystery here, um, and you know, Toru, I, I do believe we have solved your mystery. Does that seem fair to say? That that uh, I just hope the lich doesn't come back. That, oh, that if he does, we'll kill him. He'd be mad. I mean, I have a way to stop <laughs> his stuff now, but. Yeah, just give him that. I think that it'll just make him implode. Yeah, just stop his stuff. Um, question, Taru, would you like to come with us on a boat and make alcohol for the places we go? Yeah, we could need another crew member. And you could just totally be, like, background for future episodes, but yeah. still be a part of the crew? Do you need a chef? Yeah, yes. it's perfect. We, lo- we lost our last one. I am pretty good with food. He's still alive, though. He is very much alive. <laughs> and you can be, too, if you join our crew. <laughs> and you can be, too. I have been thinking about giving the tavern to my daughter. <gasps> you have a daughter? Yeah. She's a purple cat. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, I, th- I think we actually already have a cook. Um, no. So, oh. Weird. <laughs> so. Position filled. I'm not. I'm actually not interested in fucking furries on my ship. So. <laughs> Ooh, maybe next time, Daru. <laughs> but if you just, if you would just fill out this survey about how we did for the proprietor, <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, would you say you're satisfied with our services? And if you fill this out, you get a free. One of us will come back and and uh, you know drink one of your beers and yell about how good it is. Yeah, we'll send uh, our other captain back so she can experience it. It's actually like 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 a a fun rating program that exists for like restaurants and, and different establishments. It's just called Yell. <laughs> yeah, you just shout. <laughs> you just shout at the top of your lungs. Five stars. <laughs> Great I really times. enjoyed it. And the proprietor hears that. No oh, good. Poor proprietor. Did you see Another five stars. Weird. <laughs> uh, well, uh, if problems are solved here, you're going to come join our boat and leave your your pet to run it. So that's good. Um, yeah. All right. Well, um, 
Uh, Intaro, do you have anything else for us? Like gifts? Yes, gifts. We, we like gifts. I feel like you should <laughs> give us a gift. It's not, it's not hey, well, okay. When that's asked, Taro pours on each a, a nail. Sets it in front of him. It seems mm. dangerous. I chug it. Well, night night. Is it mm. delicious? Night night, homie. <laughs> it's regular ale. <laughs> it's cursed. That's what I heard. The ale isn't cursed. The patrons were cursed. Oh. Lame. So that every drink they took had the effect of a thousand drinks. Oh. I don't know. I take my Shane bottles out this, and but pour them into Taru it. has yeah, a... That's, that, the whole time he's like, I'm going to keep these. these <laughs> for later. I'm like, the base isn't cursed. So, uh, I don't know if Shane will allow this, but Taru has a, a feat or a title that lets it, every time he pours an ale, it tastes like the person who pour, he poured it for. His favorite drink. Oh. Mm. That's cool. I thought you were going to end that sentence differently, and I was like, it tastes like the <laughs> person? Why? The person who drank it before. It tastes like me. <laughs> this one tastes who made like this a dude. It tastes, it tastes like licking my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Weird. All right, well, I guess we'll be off and back to the proprietor so he can give us our gold, Oslo. Perfect. Yeah! Everybody huddle up. Um, Taru, you come with yes. us because you're a chef. Ready? Uh, yes. Everybody yep. huddled? Excellent. Oslo, you in the middle. In the, you're in smart the cupboards. In the cupboards. It, but they're licking their eyeball. I don't... Okay, I bring do them. Too. We'll no. throw them on the <laughs> ship. And then... We're part of the crew, boss! Okay. Lick, lick, um, lick, lick. Three, so we get them all shuffled in. <laughs> um, That's how they, they all sound like this. They speak in one uniform, unified, perfect. terrified... Perfect! <laughs> Sky song, if you look to the all, they, all, they, all have, they all have the same little hat on. It's a <laughs> thimble. Looks like, looks like Goofy. Yeah, it's a, it's a thimble. <laughs> They're all wearing little thimbles on their heads. <laughs> to remind you of your failure. <laughs> you guys suck at riddles! <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on Shane. If oh we would have solved it in five minutes, he would have had a very short episode. Sky Song, if you would have, um, if you'll do the pleasures, the honors. Oh, uh, everyone, hands in. Hands in. Ah, uh-huh. 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 oh, come on, I love them. I love them. Um, all right, here's what we usually do. So after after a big mission, we've done some really good things. We put our hands in, and we all say, "Doodly do, look at you." Oh my God, bacon on- bit. Doodly do. <laughs> One. That's, that's not what it two, is. Bacon I'm kidding. It's Bacon <laughs> bit. Bacon. <laughs> that's rolling this episode. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thank you so much, Tex, for joining us Thank and you. for all your support. No problem. Tell us where I'm we can fine. find you. Pitch yourself. This is your time. Just the world is not your yeah. address. Because that's like. I mean. We've had and, people. Unless you're into well, that. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, they can find me on the Discord. Mm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your name on there? Text the Templar. Uh, mm, there it is. I tend to frequent the role playground and show discussion a lot. A uh, lot. Perfect. Hell yeah. All right, well, everyone, thanks for listening. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in here with the role for humanity uh, for this month. And we are supporting the Stan Lee Foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and roll for these boys. It's some good roles uh, for this one. It's like Stan Lee come down himself and was like, let me roll those dice, whippersnapper. Um, and so today's roll is going to be uh, 15. Hits just keep on coming. Yeah. So $15 donated we will be giving nice. to the Stan Lee Foundation. Oh, we don't have. We're well, missing. Well, Tex already pitched the Discord. So, Star, you pivot and do Patreon. Oh, shit. I don't have the ring of a jig. What am I supposed to do? I don't okay. know. You just anything. Say, do patrons. Hey, do you want a chance to get to play uh, with us the same way that Tex did tonight? Uh, yes. There is a yeah, special Patreon tier in which you get your own one shot with it. I won't say it's a one shot, it's an episode. But, you know, we. we uh, we uh, will meet your character, uh, accomplish harass a thing, them. hopefully, uh, okay. harass them. Yes, um, you know, <laughs> verbally abuse. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's a great time. Uh, but there's also uh, smaller tiers as well. If it's not something that you are able to do, there's also just for one dollar you can get hours and hours of extra content. Mm. That's both 
co- it's both uh, campaign related and not campaign related. We play a lot of other games as well, uh, such as Uncle Shane Saw's Tabletop Workshop, where we play all kinds of different stuff. Uh, Don't forget and, yeah. uh, da- so- Daddy Davenport's Tabletop Workshop. We did that. <laughs> we did that too. <laughs> oh, for Kingdom. Yeah, yes. that was actually a really cool episode that you guys should get. pay the $1 just to listen to that one. Just that one. Come and join our Patreon. Why is this <laughs> really weird? For money. <laughs> you know what? I'm moving that to, to the Patreon. I'm not wasting it <laughs> anymore. Um. Uh, hey, if you guys want to support us in other ways or just wear sweet, lawful, stupid merchandise, you can go to store.lawfulstupid.org. You can get a t-shirt. Uh, you can get other stuff, too. But the t-shirt's really the best. Like, the premium t-shirt just feels so good on your skin. I recommend it so highly. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's my favorite uh, part. Uh, Everything it, else it is just does. fine. Yeah. Um, I'm here to ask you to tweet about the show using the hashtag StupidCaf. If you do, I'll sing your praises right here in the episode, baby. Mm. It's going to sound it's going to sound real nice. Uh, I would also ask you to leave a rating and review on iTunes, uh, like these fine folks uh, who have recently done that. Uh, uh, let me just get these real quick. There's so many; it's taking a while. To, it's a load on Shane's screen. It, there's, there's, a, there's a few. Um, recent listener here. This is uh, Popcornacopia, five stars. Started listening to this podcast roughly three weeks ago. I started with Campaign Two, and now I'm all caught up. This podcast is fantastic, and is the only thing I've listened to these past few weeks. Not my wife, not the cries <laughs> of my children. <laughs> It's the only thing I've listened to these past few weeks. Uh, to further that, I was so sad when I caught up that I decided to start at the very beginning. Just finished up season one, and I am just enthralled, uh, just as enthralled. Uh, this podcast has certainly brightened my days and given me inspiration for my own campaigns. Keep up the fantastic work, smiley face. Hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Whoever you are. Now, Pop Cornucopia. That's a pretty great name, though. <laughs> It's pretty solid. Um, I would also uh, encourage you to support the show uh, by getting a free audiobook of your choice by going to audibletrial.com slash lawful stupid link in the description. I recommend Vicious by V.E. Schwab. It's a very good book. You should listen to it on Audible for free. Uh, and then I would uh, have to leave you my eldritch task, of course, is to leave you with a question to think and grow on over the course of the next week. The question is this. Would you rather drink one thimble of the world's most potent alcohol or waterfall, I don't know, like three pints of 200-year-old ale? Oh, this is where Ray usually answers the question, and we yeah. yell at her. Uh, yeah. do Shut I up to do the for thing? one second. Yes. Perfect. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.